Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back. Today I'm going to be walking you through this look step by step. This is a very fun, colorful spring look that you can wear any time of year. I think it's perfect for spring and summer. I was inspired by my nails because I just got this fun pastel manicure and I wanted to play around with some color and do something different. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please subscribe and let's get started. I'm going to start off with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is the moisturizer that I just have sitting out here on my table because sometimes I get dry mainly around my nose so I always want to just make sure I'm hydrated before going in with like primers and makeup and stuff because otherwise I don't know I just feel like it looks like I've got boogers in my nose <laughs> when it's just like dry skin so I'm just going to moisturize my whole nose area and then everything else I'm not gonna use primer because it's 5.30 <laughs> and I'm gonna end up washing this off after I'm done filming. So I'm just gonna go straight into foundation. This is my current favorite, the Makeup Forever HD Skin Foundation. I have the shade 1N14. I'm just gonna pick this up on my Fox 4 brush and distribute this on my skin. I just saw this meme that said something along the lines of my problem is that when it starts raining, I think that the day is canceled. <laughs> that is me to a T. I really vibe off the weather. So it has been raining and gloomy for just a few days. And on top of it, I got a cold. So the last two days, I kind of just took it easy and my throat has been kind of hurting. It's starting to go away though. Yeah, I looked at the forecast and tomorrow's supposed to be nice, but of course, that's the only day that I don't have the option to like vibe off the day. That sounds so weird, but my dad is having hip surgery, so I'm gonna be in the hospital with him all morning. I won't get to enjoy the sunshine, but then after that, it's pretty much just rain for the next week and a half. In the words of Creed from The Office, I'm having trouble motivating. <laughs> I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty concealer. I have not used this in a hot minute. I have the shade 200C. This is really unique. It has this shape here, so it fits really nicely underneath the eyes. So I'm gonna bring this here, and then I'm just gonna grab my Fox 4 brush and blend out the under eye. I'm now gonna set my face with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. Bring it in here. I'm using a Fox 5 brush. You can also use an F35 from Sigma. It's the same thing. And just setting my under eyes where I get oily. I'm gonna bronze up my skin with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. This is in the shade medium. And I'm gonna use my Charlotte Tilbury bronzer brush for this. Just bronze up the entire skin. It's so weird filming so late. I normally do all my videos during the day because then the light is out. Even if it's gloomy or like the sun isn't shining, I can still get decent pictures in front of a window, but it's just weird with it being nighttime right now and gloomy on top of it and filming at the same time. I feel like, I don't know, I just never really filmed this late. And then per usual, I'm going in with Bone Beige from MAC, my favorite contour color. This one right here, I always forget the name, but I remembered it today because I just linked it in a video. Bone Beige. It's such a unique shade and it's so pretty. I'm using the S116 from Smith and I'm just going to contour. I'm getting those cheekbones, forehead, and my jawline. And then I'm just contouring my nose and I'm using this double-ended brush that came in the Sigma palette that I wanna use on my eyes today. This is the Sigma new mod palette. It's got this like beautiful velvet packaging and then the inside has these like gorgeous purples and neutrals. So this brush came in there. This is the, well, I'm using the E54 medium sweeper, which comes on this side. And I just contoured my nose with this. And now I'm bringing it underneath my lip to accentuate my lips. I like to bring this on the border of the lips as well in there that was actually really nice for contouring my nose and then for blush i'm gonna use this one from kylie cosmetics it's the color kitten baby looks like this it's like a peachy pinky color so i am going to apply that with my sigma f40 onto my cheeks that looks like a really good everyday blush for me like a nice peachy pink and then for highlighter i have this one called cheers darling also from kylie cosmetics I'm gonna apply this with the Fox 5 brush from my Sigma brush set and pop this on the cheekbones. It's a nice soft highlight, nothing too crazy. Add it to the center of the nose with my finger and the cupid's bow and then blend that out. 
Okay, so for my eyebrows, you can see they're kind of starting to fade. It's now been about a week since I've tinted them. I try to wait at least two weeks before going in and tinting them again. So the next time I tint my eyebrows, I will do a video on it so you can see. But this was kind of nice to kind of track the progress with these different tutorials that I'm doing because then you can see the difference between when they were freshly done to one week later and then two weeks from when I did them, you'll see the tutorial. So I have a fresh, brand new, precisely my brow pencil from Benefit. Thank you to them for stocking me up on these. I was gonna order a new one because I ran out and then I realized that they sent me a box of brow products and that was really nice of them. So thank you, Benefit. So I have the shade number three. I'll probably go in with shade four as well just because three is a lot closer to my brow color, but four is a little bit deeper and kind of adds a little bit of something extra. So start with this and just go throughout my brow. So I've got the general shape of my brows filled in. I'm now gonna go in with shade four just to give a little bit more definition to the brow. more detail brows are done i'm now gonna prime this is the painterly paint pot my favorite i'm gonna pick it up in here and then pop it on my eyelids and then set with powder and we are ready for eyeshadow okay so i have two eyeshadow palettes here the first one i already showed you this is the sigma new mod palette it looks like this very pinky, purpley, but also neutral. And then I also have this one from Anastasia. This came out a while ago and I haven't used it. What is the name of this? Primrose palette? Looks like this. It's got these shadows and it has two blushes. I mainly was interested in this purple shade here. So I might use this, but I think I'm primarily going to use the Sigma one, I'm not sure. But these are my inspirations for this look. I really wanna do a spring look that is more elongated. That's sort of the vibe that I'm going for, so let's do it. So I'm gonna start off with a Fox One brush, and I'm going to take the color Sophisticated right here. And I'm going to start by popping this on the lash line and then winging it outwards. It was a little bit darker than I thought it was going to be actually. So then with whatever is left over on the brush, I'm gonna bring this on the bottom lashes. So I'm gonna pick up the color Preppy, this shade right here, and mix it with, and mix it with New Mod. It's like I want the pinky color, but that is gonna be too dark for this brush. So we're gonna do that. Add that in. There we go. Be a nice, cool toned spring look. Bring this underneath. I'm gonna go directly into the new mod shade on a Fox 3 brush. I'm going to create a wing with this. Kind of feathering this color in and blending it out a little bit, keeping the outer part more pointy and the rest a little bit more blended. I'm gonna grab the color Vogish, this one here. It looks like the most brightest purple color. Use the same brush, and I'm just gonna go over that wing that we just created to deepen it up. Just layer this color on. Now I'm gonna go into Edgy, which is this shade. Just kind of layer that on. Start building up this wing color. I am gonna grab a clean Fox 2 brush and I'm gonna go into that new mod shade and go right at the edge and start blending out this wing. I think I am just gonna grab a little bit of this primrose shade from the Anastasia palette and just push it on the outer lid. You probably don't even need this color, but I've just been wanting to use it. And I think it's actually gonna be quite the perfect transition shade between those colors and the lid. And just blend that out using a Fox One brush. Bringing some of whatever's left over on this Fox One brush right here just to 
tie in these colors over here a little bit more a lot of times when i do these more winged out looks i can tend to neglect that area and then i feel like it looks just a little empty so i'm just carrying whatever's left over on this brush over here I'm not going in straight away with like eyeshadow to put here it's just whatever's left over from blending out this look you can see it just kind of gives just a nice light hue of color in there okay so i want to make this really fun and sparkly. I feel like you already know I wanna stop here. Look at how pretty that liner color is. I'm gonna have to do a matte version of this look for myself, but I wanna use some of these really beautiful shimmery colors like this one here and this one. I'm gonna start with this one just to see where it goes. This is avant-garde. It is a very avant-garde type of color. And I think, do I wanna use my pointer? Yeah, I'm gonna use my pointer finger to just pick it up. This is what it looks like. And I'm just gonna tap this on the lid see oh yeah see where this goes that is beautiful oh that's so freaking pretty i'm gonna grab a little bit of artsy this shade here on the same finger kind of tap it more towards the middle to outer lid just to kind of mend that first shade in mm, do you see that shift oh it's so beautiful bringing that new mod shade and kind of connecting it into the outer lid a little bit more make this a little bit smokier going to the fox 2 brush blending this out i'm going to take whatever's left over on the fox 3 brush and just hit it right in outer lower lash line area just to connect that there and then blend it out with the Fox 2. I'm going to go back into that Kylie Jenner highlighter and highlight my brow bone and my inner corner. I'm applying some mascara. This is the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Just coating the lashes. I'm going to go in with these Pixie Lashes from Kiss, but I'm going to cut them up. So instead of it being more rounded, I'm gonna make it so that they go more angular. So basically what I'm doing with the lash is I'm cutting it into three sections and I'm swapping the middle and the end because the fullest part of this lash is in the middle. So now that's gonna be the end and it will go more elongated. So now that the lashes are on, I'm just applying some mascara to the bottom lashes. And now that I'm looking, I feel like the inner rim of my eye is like really pink. I think also because I kind of have a cold, so it's just making me think that I look sick. So after I apply this, I'm gonna go in with some nude liner in there just to kind of brighten it up and make it match my skin tone a little bit better because I don't want it to look like my eyes are like ill, you know? I'm going in with this one from Tarte. Okay, I'm switching to this one from Anastasia because this one wasn't gliding on as nicely. So I feel like it was making my eyes water and then making them more pink. So I'm going in with this one. I figured going in with like a smaller one would have been better, but this one's just creamier. So it's gonna work better. This is the Baby Roses lip pencil from Anastasia. It'll be very, very light and I'll have to deepen it up, but it will give more of that like pinky peachy look. So I'll start with this. I'm just lining the lips, overlining at the cupid's bow, carrying it on its side and filling it in. I'm gonna go into Cool Brown from Anastasia and I'm gonna deepen up the corners and the cupid's bow. I'm gonna grab my brush that I use for blending in my lip products, just to kind of blend this in. I'm gonna go in with First Time from Tom Ford and tap this in the center just to really lighten it back up and bring back that peachiness. Okay, so this is the final look. I really like it. I kind of wanted to add a little bit more of a pinkiness to the lip, but a lot of my lip products are in that closet and I just don't feel like going in and color matching. I think this looks just fine. So yeah, I think this is such a fun, beautiful spring and summer look. It's definitely giving me like April, May sort of vibes and it matches my nails. I just got my nails done. This thumb got chopped off when I was little, by the way. So anytime I show my nails, someone's always asking me 
what's wrong with my thumb. That's what's wrong with it. So now it just grows this way. I've been having fun getting acrylic nails. And then when I do that, I can get more fun things done to my nails, so. But yeah, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I got this look today. And yeah, let me know what else you wanna see from me, whether it's tutorials, food videos. I'm gonna be doing a keto video very soon showing you what I eat, so stay tuned for that. Also, I'm gonna be going through all of my makeup in this closet and decluttering because I just have way too much makeup stuff that's gone to waste, stuff that's expired. So that will be coming soon as well. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and hanging out. Please subscribe and I will see you very soon. Bye.